The Navy and Marine Corps have conducted operations together since their inception, and integrating the capabilities of the Blue-Green Team is more vital now than ever. But what does it take to be a dominant naval force? America's 2022 National Defense Strategy prioritizes challenges in the Indo-Pacific presented by potential adversaries. Three Marine Expeditionary Force and U.S. 7th Fleet Command work side by side to deter aggressions from various threats faced throughout the area today. The Navy and Marine Corps have distinct roles to play in distributed maritime operations, but those roles must be done in sync to promote freedom of the seas. Planning, communication, logistics, and fires must be harmonious to succeed. We do this by integrating Marine Corps fire support elements onto Navy ships to synchronize the fire's enterprises and allow the weapon systems, regardless of branch, to work jointly to impact any given target. Expeditionary advanced base operations allow the emplacement of Marines onto key locations within the Indo-Pacific. At the same time, the Navy extends their defense in depth by controlling the maritime lines of communication. This team effort creates an overlapping coverage, overwhelming any threat that may come. Joint and multinational exercises like Valiant Shield, Balakatan, Keen Sword, and Pacific Fury will continue to keep the Navy and Marine Corps trained together and prepared to keep a safe and open Indo-Pacific region.